Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well, today I thought we'd do a little bit of a review and basic demo, give you some information on the uh, Next Tech uh, 3.5 inch high density floppy drive. Now, I tried this with a low density disc uh, when I got it. Didn't seem to like it. Um, but with the high density discs, it's having no complaints at all, which is good. And uh, But just a little bit of a history lesson for some of you especially the newer guys that don't know anything about floppy drives. Um, way back in the day, now I'm 45, and uh, when the first personal computers hit the schools and the homes, um, you know, I mean, that was, I was about probably, I don't know, 12 years old, 11, 12 years old. Um, but anyway, of course, back then, uh, right away, we did not even have a floppy drive system. All we had was uh, cassette players that stored and loaded our programs and saved our programs and whatnot. So it was kind of archaic, right? Um, then, of course, the first thing that pops out not long after was floppy drives. And we started out with these five and a quarter inch double-sided double density drives for quite a while. And they were a 720K format. And then, of course, eventually the high density five and a quarters came out, double-sided high density, which were a 1.2 megabyte format. And five and a quarter inch, that's a pretty big disc, and it was very floppy, and you could stack a ton of them with very little space being taken up. Um, you know, and uh, so anyways, uh, we then moved on to 720K, three and a half inch double-sided double density discs, which are a harder shell, slightly thicker, okay, and smaller in size too. So they kind of made some compromises for storage versus thickness versus, you know, everything else. And these were actually a lot more durable, too, than the floppies were. These were very susceptible um, to a lot of things that these ones are not. Then, of course, came out the high-density format, which is what's in my hand. And uh, so they had a 1.4 megabyte capacity. Now, for many, many, many years, we've been using these 3.5-inch floppies. Uh, for storing data back and forth, loading programs. I remember uh, the first computer I actually bought myself was a Macintosh, uh, and it was an LC3 uh, model, and of course, three and a half inch floppy. And there must have been about, I don't know, nine or ten disks to load my operating system, you know, from these floppies, and of course, all high density. Um, and uh, we did have CD players, and then we ended up with burners, CD burners. And now, of course, where we are today is DVD, CRW burners in our machines, Blu-ray players, um, the whole enchilada, you know. And uh, so things move on rather quickly once we started to get rid of these things. Things just went nuts. And, um, but it's harder to get floppy drives now, like the diskettes. Um, it is getting harder to find them. Uh, this site does have them. But I couldn't find anything locally. And um, I got the drive because I thought, you know what, that's pretty cool. I like floppy disk drives. I've, you know, kind of lost a little bit of in touch stuff. And um, so I wanted one. And uh, I had the one disk anyway. And, of course, it didn't want to do anything with that disk. It was low density. And maybe the disk was just too old. Maybe that was the problem too. But on a low density disk system, you only have one head that read the data. Uh, generally, and uh, when high density systems come out, you got two heads one top, one bottom, and that's where you get your massive amount of storage. So, your data is actually spread across two halves of the sheet, and uh, but then it looks like it's in one piece, right? It's kind of a weird thing. Um, but, uh, anyways, I was at my local Hazardous Depot and I ended up with these Ultrex discs. I got two brand new unopened boxes of blanks. Plus, I got this other one that only had a couple missing, and I thought, awesome, right? I'm taking those, because we're allowed to grab stuff, eh? So, um, anyways, I thought, well, what the hell? So, this is a fresh disc. It has not been formatted yet, and uh, we're just going to slide that in. And, of course, you notice it doesn't do anything, which is kind of normal. And uh, so, here's our floppy disc. We're just going to double-click on it. Now these are pre-formatted and apparently certified error-free. 
I don't believe there's a such thing as error free. I've run across floppy disks many times that had errors on them. So let's uh, just take some files and copy them on. Um, actually, we will this one, this one, this one, whoop, this one, RC Kitty. Let's take these five and we'll just put them onto here. Now you can copy them by drag and drop or you can just right click and just send it to the floppy drive that way. So because these are small files, they're going to copy fairly decent speed. Now we're going to open the drive. There's our files. Boom! You know, USB sticks and these uh, card reader type sticks, the micro SDs and SD cards, works the same way, but they have a lot more storage, which is why these things are extinct now, really. Um, you do get a CD with this that I think is more used for Windows 98 and below users. Um, totally useless on Windows 7. My computer just found it, loaded the drivers, and away I went, so no hassles. Now to format, close off the drive like I just did, right click, select format. Do, 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 do. Another reason why these things went extinct, slow. So, file system is FAT, which is the default. Allocation unit 512, quick format, create an MS DOS startup disk. Well, we don't do that stuff anymore, uh, but you can if you're still under the old Windows uh, 98 and XP and below. Restore device defaults, it just goes to default allocation. Capacity 3.5 inch, 1.4 meg. So we'll just do a quickie format. Format complete. That was a quick format. And you can do a long format too, which is a more precise format. Okay, file system, fat, default. Do your long format. Now this can take a minute or two. But it's better to always do a long format than a quick format. A quickie format does basically a fast um, erase and um, it's not 100% when it comes to finding any kind of errors that may or may not be on the disk. So doing a long format is actually going to go through the disk uh, sector by sector. And if it finds any problems, of course, it's going to cap out on the format routine. Which is actually good because you don't want to start storing data on disks that have any kind of bad sectors. So if you're going to trust that this is 100% um, certified error free then yeah you shouldn't be near these things because I'll guarantee you that you will get the odd disk okay it may not be this box it may be the next box but you will get the odd disk or disks that do screw up and if you've got really super important data that you need to have saved onto a floppy system then you need to make sure ahead of time before you store it that your disk comes out 100% glitch free now, I've read a uh, little bit of reviews here and there on this thing myself, and some people were saying, well, going from computer to computer, even with the same disks, I'm having problems where it won't read or something, right? Well, that could be um, just because you were using it on a Windows 8 system or a Windows 7 system. Uh, it could have been the way your files were made on that OS that may, it may not want to read on a lower OS machine. Um, I really have no answer for you guys on that one, why people would be getting these glitches. Now, I mean, I bought, I got this to use on this computer, and that's it. You know, I'm not going to be using it on my wife's Windows 8 tablet, so, you know, I'm not going to experience any of those problems using fresh diskettes on this computer. I did try and use a diskette that was low density, which makes no difference. This will read low or high. 
Um, but the disc was probably just too bloody old and there was no way this thing could read it. So, you know, I just figured, yeah, good for doing fresh and clean start stuff, okay. I don't know if it's going to read your discs that you've had in your collection for 30 years, okay? I have no idea. Um, if it does, then bonus, because that's what it was made for, was to be able to access those files. Um, you may have to drop down to a lower operating system computer in order to access those files on the drive. You may not necessarily be able to access them on a new Windows 7 or Windows 8 machine um, with your old files. That's possible, okay? And that's where I can see maybe the hiccup is happening, which is kind of cheesing people off a little bit. So you may want to get your hands on an older computer that, you know, even has Windows 98 on it, okay? Even XP, I think, would be good. Um, and then you should be, have no problems accessing your file system because floppy drives were still around with Windows XP, okay? As well as, I believe, Windows Vista. Um, but XP for sure. And so you shouldn't have any hiccups that way, I would think. Uh, but like I said, I can't answer that 100%. I don't have a Windows 98 system here. I don't have a collection of older floppies, you know. Um, so, but I do know that this disk, they have some Windows 98 file stuff on it. So you may have to uh, install this CD if you're running on a Windows um, XP system you know, or a Windows 98 system. Uh, but on Windows uh, 7 and more than likely Windows 8, of course, it's going to just automatically find and load the drivers. Now, I haven't tried this on Windows 8 yet. Um, when I get a chance, I'll uh, see if my wife will let me throw it on her uh, tablet, and because uh, she has my old tablet now, and uh, see how it works on there. But as far as on this, this is Windows 7, and it's working fine. So, all in all, I'm kind of ha I'm quite happy actually with this uh, unit. Um, it's working the way it should. It's going to do what I want it to do for the fun that I'm going to have with it. Because for me, it's more of a fun factor than anything, really. Because I store all my stuff nowadays on flash drives and, you know, all that jazz. So, I mean, why do I need this? It's part of the past for me, more than anything, really. And uh, I think it's cool, you know, that we can still use a floppy drive. But, um, anyways... Um, if I'm going to give this thing any kind of a star rating, I'm going to have to base it on being used on this computer with my present OS, which is Windows 7. And I think it's, you know, deserves a solid, you know, 4 out of 5. I mean, it's compact, it's lightweight, it only has one cable, which is the USB for the power, runs the whole thing, which is great. My computer automatically detected it, loaded the drivers, didn't need this, that was great. Um, it formats perfectly. You know, quick formats, long formats. Um, it's doing its job. It's doing what it was uh, mainly intended for, at least for the purpose I wanted it for. Um, I will do some testing when, and only when, I can find um, some diskettes that somebody may have that have files on them and stuff and see if I can read them. And if I can, I will definitely give you guys an update video at that time. But don't go looking for that anytime soon. Okay? But uh, as far as it being worth the money, definitely. You know? So if you need something like this, pick it up, try it out, and see how it goes for you. You know? But um, for what I'm using it for and what it's doing for me, what I've showed you, it's working great. You know? Uh, I'm not saying you, you won't get a defective drive unit. That's possible. You know? Especially with today's technology. We do get defects at times. Um, so, you know, don't rule it out if you buy it, bring it home, and it doesn't work for some reason. Try another unit, you know, and uh, see what happens there. Because so many people, they'll return stuff for, for it's just a user operator thing, you know. Um, so, there you go. But, um, anyways, overall, very kudos on this thing. I love it. I love the nostalgia part of it, too, for the fact that it's, you know, a three and a half inch floppy drive. I mean, they haven't been off the market that many years, but they've been off enough that I miss them. You know, and I'm used to, I love floppy drives. They're, they're just, I don't know, there's something about them. Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching guys, and we'll check you in the next video.